guys welcome back to my channel as you guys could see by the title of today's video we are in london i'm super excited to be back in london especially with this crazy guy here it's his first time so super excited if you guys do or don't know probably do by now because i mention it all the time i lived in london for about six months back when i studied abroad when i went to nyu so i'm super happy to be back i've been back since but it's been a bit so pretty excited we're gonna be here for a few days and we're just gonna start exploring and of course take you guys along with us there's so many holiday christmas markets going on so we're super excited about that today i think we're gonna head over to big ben and the london eye and then probably head up Oxford Circus area, do some shopping, and probably go to NYU London because I just have to show Jay where I lived and all the craziness we did when we were here. And then tonight we have dinner reservations in Covent Garden, which I'm super excited about because I know they dressed it up so much for Christmas. So pretty excited, but before we head out, I'll just quickly show you guys my outfit. This hotel room is pretty small and the lighting is not the best, but this is just the sweater I'm wearing. You guys have definitely seen this before. I'm just wearing it with this little skirt. Okay, this is a better view. This sweater is from Zara. Skirt is from, I think also Zara. Just wearing it with these little sheer tights and these loafers from DSW. And I'm just throwing over this super long coat from Zara. I feel like it just really fits the outfit. And then, of course, my Prada purse. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we're there. 63, two, on an egg. It's a lot later, as you can see, we're freshly showered, got my skincare on. My skin is glowing, look. It always is. <laughs> but anyway, we've had an extremely long day. As you can tell, we're exhausted. Our eyes are like just closing on us. But I wanted to give you guys a quick haul of everything we got today. We did do a lot of shopping. Just to quickly summarize, our last 24 hours we flew from new york city to london our flight was supposed to leave at 5 45 it didn't leave until what 6 45 yeah about yeah we were standing on the tarmac for what felt like forever we had so much turbulence on the flight crying kids which i don't even blame them because the turbulence was a bit scary and then our flight only ended up being under six hours because that's how windy it was and how much turbulence we had so we got here at like five in the morning which was a lot earlier than we had 
had intended to so we got in this morning checked in and we honestly just knocked out for a bit because we were so exhausted from all the traveling and everything we got ready and then we went to big ben and the westminster area so the london eye what i didn't know was that big ben doesn't light up at night anymore like only the clock face part does but the rest of the building doesn't i have no idea why but I'm still disappointed in that hopefully it'll be back to normal soon then after that we went to oxford circus did a little bit of shopping they had all the christmas decorations it was super packed like beyond packed then we went to covent garden where we had my favorite masala zone the best indian food i've ever had in my entire life had a very eventful day but before we go to bed just wanted to give you guys a little haul the first store i went to was this one called i guess it's arquette yeah. jay actually saw it when we were walking by and we were like they have you know our neutral tones vibe kind of going on so we figured let's stop in all i got was this scarf but i just thought this color was so perfect it's like the perfect camel brown color and i haven't seen one like this it was really great quality i did spend a decent amount on it for a scarf but nothing crazy but yeah i really like this just one thing i got then moving on to zara because you know i had to stop in there yep real quick Got something from Zara. Uh, this cool pine green sweater. I think it's perfect. I'm probably honestly gonna wear it while I'm either here or when we go to Amsterdam, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's really nice. Probably just something extra to wear. Usually and it's I, pretty thick, which yeah. is good because it is cold here. From Zara, I just picked up this little i don't know it's a sweater it's sweater material but it gives kind of like blazer, blazer vibes so it's basically a cropped blazer you guys can see it better like this but it's a sweater material like it feels kind of like a wool yeah, it's material thick. It's, thick. it's perfect for the winter it, yeah and then it has these cute little buttons so i honestly made wear this here i was obviously very inspired by you know the fashion here and so i thought this was super cute then i picked up this sweater which i actually have seen on the website before but i just haven't seen it in store in the u.s it's just a regular you know striped sweater i'm not really into stripes but since they're in now i kind of do like this little black and white vibe it reminds me mm, of like cute. parisian vibes and this one is a bit thick so that's another reason i wanted to get it since it's getting colder out and I honestly got rid of almost all my sweaters. Yeah, that's everything we picked up for today. But the exciting part about this is we want to do another little taste test for you guys. So as I've said a million times, I did live in London before, so I've tried all of these. But I really want Jay to try some of my favorite snacks, like London snacks. So my two favorite snacks are these flake chocolates. They're absolutely amazing. If you've never tried them, definitely try it. It's just such a light airy chocolate i just love it and then this when i tell you when i studied abroad i had this every day i gained so much weight when i studied abroad and it was from me just eating these chips these chips taste unreal it's good definitely less of a flavor burst than like the doritos sweet chili, oh yeah of but course definitely it's still good let's go yeah it's like totally different from that this is like like i feel horrible after i eat those these taste so good to me yeah these are they're good 8.3 out of 10. They're good. i give it like 20 out of 10 but obviously i'm biased next i'm gonna have them try flake mm. it's good right mm. That's good. That like melts in your mouth. Right? It's so good. I'm like, we don't have any chocolate like this at home. You should, oh, next one, I'm going to use Arrow. It's another one. It's sort of like little air, like bubbles of chocolate in a candy bar. Oh, it's so That's good. What, what do you rate it? This is probably like a 9.1 out of 10. That was good. 9.1? Yeah, that was good. So that's everything for a little review. Maybe we'll do more if we get more snacks. But catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day. 
We just got ready and we're about to head to Buckingham Palace. We're going to try and see the changing of the guard. And then after that, we're going to head up NYU London, which I'm super excited to go to and kind of reminisce and show Jay, you know, where I live, where I went to school, where we hung out, all that fun stuff. I'm definitely going to make him try Nando's because, I mean, it's just a must if you come here. And I loved it too, so I'm also going to make him try that as well. And then later tonight, we have reservations at Sketch. So in between then, I'm sure we'll get up to some other stuff. And of course, I'll take you guys along with us. This is just my outfit for today, keeping it very simple, just these Abercrombie jeans that I always wear, this crop top from Zara, my Prada purse again, and then I'm just wearing it with these dunks. And then of course we're both wearing our big black puffers because it's kind of cold here. started off at the Buckingham Palace we saw the changing of the guards and remember when I said I saw the changing of the guards I never saw it I must have just seen guards like you know obviously standing guard outside but the changing of the guards was absolutely crazy it was like a whole big ceremony of course you guys would have seen the footage I had no idea it was like that and I was telling Jay like this is so nuts we're just like all standing out here trying to take a photo behind the gates like I don't know, it was just interesting. And then we walked around Green Park, which is right there. We went and had our first English breakfast, which was so good, this place called Bill's. Highly recommend, I've never been there before until now, and it was so amazing. And we passed the apartment, and I was like, Jay, are we about to move here? Because this is a nice apartment. It was a million dollar apartment, of course, of course. Then, of course, I had to reminisce, and I took Jay to where I live. So at first, I took him to the actual NYU building, like where I had classes every day. It's actually really nice. It's a whole big thing. Like, they own it. The teachers work there, like, year-round. It's not like studying abroad like on another campus it's really cool to be back with you know my husband i would have never thought uh 21 i don't even think i was 21 years old when i was here when i studied abroad i think i was 20 so six years ago oh my god i'm old anyway like little me would have never thought i'd be back here with my husband showing him where i lived and stuff it's just so crazy how life works and it was just such a cool feeling it's 5 44 so i think we're gonna freshen up a bit i'm gonna fix my hair because 
it rained in my hair you can clearly tell it rained i'm gonna fix my makeup up a bit and switch my outfit because tonight we're going to sketch jay is really vibing with the pubs we haven't done too much nightlife but he could obviously get like a taste of how it is and he's like i think i would thrive here so you guys see maybe we'll move here i don't know and yeah that's pretty much our vibe for tonight tomorrow i think we're going to Nodding hill i want to go to the parent trap building i've never been there and portobello market i heard they have really good vintage shops there so i kind of want to go there and then tomorrow night we're going to winter wonderland which i'm so excited about like that's like the main reason why we decided to go at this time because we wanted to go to winter wonderland i know jay is going to absolutely love it i loved it it's like this huge christmas sea festival it's just so beautiful there's like um bonfire pits you can sip hot cider there's like ice bars ice sculptures of course rides just like such good christmas vibes so really excited about that but tuesday we're going to chelsea area like during the day and then we have reservations at harrods for the high tea and also gonna shop i really really want to get a burberry trench coat but I don't know if i really have it in me to do that and then tomorrow night probably gonna go to the shard and tower bridge area that'll be fun and then we will be off to amsterdam so that's kind of like our schedule as of now of course i'll update you guys of any changes but yeah i'm gonna sit here and enjoy my flake chocolate i'm exhausted i've been walking like 20,000 steps a day which for me walking from which for me working from home is a lot so gonna chill for a second and then get ready hey guys we're about to head out now to sketch i wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit like i said the lighting in here isn't the best you guys would have definitely seen this video in my recent haul this top is just from zara i love this detailing it has then i'm wearing this mini skirt also from zara and then i will show you guys the rest of my outfit in the other mirror and like I said, I'm just pairing it with this blazer. Again, you would have seen it in the haul. And then, again, I'm wearing my Prada purse. And then just this long coat. Last time last night at sketch the food was good the vibes were good of course it was amazing for taking photos and videos which i feel like is mainly why people go there the food was good it just wasn't as flavorful as i made what i wanted but the drinks were great vibes were great there was a bar inside the bathroom it was the craziest thing but yeah we had a lot of fun and we just came back here i set up all night editing a video and even into this morning so pretty tired but i'm excited to finally leave the hotel room it's about 12 and we're gonna head to notting hill for the day we're planning to go to i believe it's called we got some sort of markets i'll put on the screen i already forgot the name we have a lot of good vintage shops so I'm excited to go and of course Notting Hill is just beautiful over there. So excited to take Jay back to the room just to chill and freshen up a bit we're about to head to winter wonderland which i'm super excited about because that's kind of what this whole trip revolved around just gonna head over there now as you guys get to see i put on a little bit too much blush today because it's so dark in here i can't even see like do i have enough makeup on do i have my putting anything on my face whatever the case is so going with the cold girl makeup look as they say i guess but like i said i will see you guys when we get there I'm 
this cold December day We are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go <laughs> Just got off the ride, literally tearing, crying. I and he got sprayed. It's gonna be like bad though, right? Just a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect. So. Yeah, this is your idea. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, this is scary too? <laughs> what the heck? Damn scary. I almost shut my mouth. Oh, what the heck? Oh, and it spins! And it spins! Hold on, man. Jay, wait, I'm really scared now. Hold on, hold on to your camera. <laughs> This cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. Hey guys, it's the next day. We had a great time last night with my friend Carla, and we really just were so exhausted and went to bed. And now we're heading to Harrods, and we're going to do a little afternoon tea, which I'm pretty excited about. They also have this whole Dior cafe and like pop-up thing, so we're gonna try and see that as well. I didn't have a chance to show you guys my outfit because we're rushing, but it's just a quick little look. I'm wearing this dress from Abercrombie. You'll see it better later. Burp scarf, star jacket, Chanel purse. That's vintage my mom's. And then these boots. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get there. Oh, and also, these earrings are from Majuri. They are kind enough to send it over. So pretty excited to shoot some content for them today as well. Excited? I love Herod, so I'm very excited. When everything is white, glimmering silver white. Stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this. Past year, oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Guys, we're back from Harrods. We had the best time. We did the afternoon tea and I highly recommend because it was really good. The food was good. Good vibes. Good tea. Definitely 
a must do. We went through Harrods, went through all the different, you know, area stores, all this stuff. Had a lot of fun. And now we just came back to quickly change because we're about to head to the London Bridge, Tower Bridge, Shard area. There's also a bunch of Christmas markets over there. So super excited to have, you know, one last little night here before we leave tomorrow. Before we go, I just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit, of course. So like I said, it's nothing too crazy. The top is from Revolve. It's just this green top that I absolutely love. Jeans are Abercrombie, ones I always wear. You guys already know. And then I'm just wearing my Uggs because... My feet are killing me from wearing boots all day, and I just want to be, like, chill vibes. Also, excuse the hotel room. It's obviously a disaster because we've just been quickly changing, going out, and coming back and sleeping because we're so exhausted. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get there.